Hi, this is Hill. I'm actually a freshman at Ankersa State University. My vlog is all about it's all about talking about my personal perspective and story. And my sole purpose in the end is hope that you guys can actually help some kind of lesson for yourself. All right, that's just it. And okay, so let's catch on our topic today. What I wanted to share today is I wanted to share about decision making in a coronavirus. You know, it's kind of weird when a lot of my friends and a lot of people are just sending some emails like, you know, how I can make, how I can be more productive during this coronavirus, how I can make the right decision during this time, how I can, you know, make myself more busy. Wow. You know, I just, you know, completely mind blowing because I just don't get it. What I wanted to share is I just don't want to solve the surface problem. I just don't want to just answer that question. What I wanted to do is that this, I want to share you my personal story. So in the end, yeah, I hope you guys can get the lesson that best fits for yourself. Okay. So I can tell you right now the way that people are being trapped in the circle of society labeling us. What do I mean by that? You know, whenever I was, my background, I'm actually a student from Vietnam. And whenever I was a child, all of my friends, all of the society tell me that you need to get good grade. You need to get into university. You need to get a good job. You need to have the house. You need to have the car. That's just programmed in my mind. I'm telling you, to, I'm just brutally honest with you. You know, but when I realized when I was a child, it's always have a, a fire inside of me. I really want to be an astronaut. I really want to be some kind of villain or something like crazy. I really want to be Superman. I really want to save the world. But yeah, I cannot reset that trap. So can you guess that? You know, I waking up, I go into school, I take extra classes. I trap in the traffic. If you know what I mean, if you're in Dung, Dung the District. For a period of time, and then after taking extra classes, I get back to home, finish homework, and going to bed. The same thing happening over and over again, like 12 years. We're speaking about 12 years over here. And I realized that, you know, how things gonna change in the next year that hasn't changed in the last 12 years. That's really hit me. One of the breakthrough, you know, all of my friends at that time, because I'm, I really appreciate I got a chance to be one of the prestigious high school in Ho Chi Minh City. And Learn from high school for the gifted. I love you guys so much. But a lot of my friends asking me, how can I make the right decision at this time? How can I choose the right career for myself? How can I have the happy that I truly deserve? I asked myself the same question and I realized that you can't. Why? You don't experience enough. How can you make the right decision if you don't have much experience for yourself? If you don't try this, how did you know that you don't like it? And I appreciate that I got a chance to, you know, studying abroad, get a chance to, you know, my mom and my dad after, you know, for a period of time, take a lot of things into consideration, specifically financial, financial situations. They get ready for me to get into the U.S. And for, for a period of time, I don't need to study for the university entrance test. It's free of my time. I started reading some books. I started taking some courses. And I realized that, hey, there's a lot of things in, a, in, in, in this life I'm good at. A lot of things in this life is my strong suit. Why don't, why don't I try anything like that? Why some soft skill like public speaking? Why some soft skill like, you know, learning psychologies, how to be persuasive, how to be more persuasive, how to, you know, you know, communicate clearly in English or something like that. Nothing's all of this. How to be more productive, how to schedule your life. Not things I learned from high school or in school in general. So I make the decisions. I took all of my saving. I'm, I'm telling you the truth that I speak all of my saving and I spent all enough in the courses. I started to invest in myself. I started to, you know, to be, to knowing more about myself. I started to value myself much. And I realized that, wow, it's not about you, you don't know what to do. It's not about you being trapped, but this is about you making decisions in life. What do I mean by that? If you 
tired of keep doing the same thing over and over again and you always blame about the situation surrounding you, you there's nothing's gonna change until you change it. Making your decisions, specifically doing during this coronavirus, during this time, a lot of people being panicked, a lot of pe- people being flummoxed on don't know what to do in their life. You can choose to live your life. Instead of waking up and being bombarded with some crazy new, being immersed yourself in the environment that every single people in this world is dying because of this virus. And in and, and your state, your mood is changed. And that's mood, what's gonna happen next? You feel procrastinate, you feel procrastinate, and you don't know what to do. You feel unmotivated, and you feel like you have a lot of time in your life. It's not, life is too short. You don't have the, the urgency to making decisions right now, that's nothing gonna change. You can choose to be grateful and happy and passionate and do what you love to do. Start investing yourself, start doing something that you love, maybe learning some skill, maybe you know, learning some instrument. Learn to make music, learn to make some videos, learn to read new books, learn to have some skill that you never have a chance to do that for yourself during school. This is his time for you. And you're telling me that, oh gosh, I don't have time. I have so many things to take care of. Stop lying to yourself. If during this five to six months, you at home, you don't, you're telling me that you don't have time, how are things gonna change that hasn't changed in the last six to 12 months? Make the decision, oh my God, I love you guys so much. I hope that you got a wonderful health. And yeah. I mean, that's my personal story. I hope that you guys live passionately. In the end, stay tuned. And see you guys.